Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a huge Sephora haul. I love doing hauls on my channel because I love buying new makeup and I love sharing it with you guys and showing you what I picked up and what I'm gonna be digging into in the upcoming months. This stuff I have had sitting around for such a long time. I actually bought most of this stuff during the VIB sale, so I've just been waiting to use all of it, and I can't tell you how anxious I've been to just start digging into everything and playing around with it. So let's get on into the haul. The first thing I picked up is this makeup organizer, and this is for travel. I had something similar to this that my mom bought for me a very long time ago and I lost it. I have no idea where it went. So I decided to pick this one up because I thought the design was really nice. I love all of like the metallic glitter detailing on it. I'm actually going on four trips this year so this is going to come into handy. Now I really like this one because it has a zipper around the edges that closes it and keeps it secure and it has this little hook on top. So you can hang it like over a door or over a door handle or something like that. You can even hang it in a closet so that all your makeup can be put here and you could see everything without having to have it clutter a counter or anything like that. So there's like a zipper compartment here. This is all mesh. And then there's a section here for brushes. And then there's two other zipper compartments that are also mesh on this side. So you can keep things really separate and organized, but you can still easily see everything and have access to everything. I also picked up the set from Beauty Blender. Um, this has the original pink Beauty Blender and the purple Beauty Blender in here, which I have never had before. So I'm excited to give that one a try. Purple is my favorite color. And it also comes with a solid blender cleanser. This is my favorite thing to use to clean my beauty blender. And I already have one that's about halfway done. So I'm glad I have one now for a backup to use when I'm finished with that one. And this set was really inexpensive. You pretty much get the cleanser for free. So this was a no brainer for me. I also picked up a brush from the Mara Hoffman limited edition collection. This was on sale and I ended up paying like $11 for it. So I definitely wanted to get this. And let me just pull it out of the packaging. And even the box, look at that. It's so beautiful. It has all these designs and colors on it. So pretty. But I love picking up the limited brushes because they have designs on the handles and I just think they're so beautiful so this is what this one looks like and as you can see there's beautiful like colored detailing here and it's a number 56 brush and it has a rose gold ferrule with like a taper here and it kind of goes outwards I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use this for. I kind of just picked it up because I liked it, but I'm sure I'll find something I can use it. The next thing I picked up was the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. And I wasn't going to buy this, but I saw so many people talking about it and saying how much they loved it. And it didn't really take much convincing for me to decide that I actually did need it. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, nine shimmer shades and 13 matte shades and a nice mirror at the top and it just has a whole range of different colors i really love some of the shades in here i think that um all of the colors put together is really inspiring and it will kind of force me to play with color a little bit more than i normally do this shade in twinkle here is my favorite i will go ahead and swatch that one for you i actually swatched all of these shades already on my instagram i'll leave my social media information down below in case you wanted to follow me on any other platforms i do a lot of swatching and product shots and things like that let me just swatch that one um purples are my favorite color so so that's just the shade right there twinkle it's just a beautiful like icy lavender shade super metallic just like all the other shades in the palette i really love that one next i picked up the Too faced white chocolate chip palette and this was pretty inexpensive i think it was like 25 dollars or something like that and this is what it looks like so far I have everything from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar line. I did not pick up, they also came out with an all matte version. I think it's called um, the Mini Chocolate Chip Palette. Very similar to this, same size, just all matte shades. I didn't really see myself using it too much, so I didn't pick that one up, but this is what this one looks like. As you can see, it's like really pastel shades. 
Oh, sorry, blinding you there. Um, as you can see, it's all a bunch of pastel shades, light colors, creams. Um, there's a lot of shimmers in here, so I don't really have many shades like this, so I thought this would be nice to add. And then I got rid of the box for this, but I haven't used this either. This is the Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer. I've been on the hunt for a new moisturizer lately, and I haven't found one that hasn't broke me out has kept me really hydrated because I do have dry skin, but hasn't been overly greasy. Everything I've tried has either dried my skin out or been really greasy and broke me out. So I just, I don't know what it is. I just can't find like the happy medium between the two. So I decided to give this one a try. Um, hopefully it works out. It's like, um, I don't know if you could see it there. It's like a gel-like moisturizer. I don't think this is going to work for me right now because it's winter and my skin is extra dry, but this is going to be really good for me for summer. Um, I'm probably not going to dig into this one until a couple more months when my skin kind of gains some of its moisture back, but I'm glad I have this on hand for when that time comes. So the next thing I picked up, I've heard so many people talk about and I knew I wanted to try it because everybody loves it. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and Moisturizing Shower Gel Set. And this says that it has a scent of caramel and pistachio. So I'm really excited to try these out. I love body butters and shower gels and I'm always looking for new ones to try. And since everybody loves this one so much, I'm sure I'm gonna love it too. I also picked up the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, this was on sale. I think they're discontinuing this one and I always hear so many people saying it's the best bright palette out there So I figured I might as well buy it since it was on sale and before I couldn't get my hands on it anymore And then I would really regret not having it um, I just pull it out here. I'm sure you guys have all seen this already. It's pretty old But this is what the packaging looks like so pretty and then it comes with a brush and then just these ten really bright fun shades I tend to really stick towards neutrals, but I do want to get more creative and incorporate more color into different looks and things like that. And so I thought this would be good to add. And again, it was on sale. It was like half price of what it normally was, plus the discount. So I also picked up the Carez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. I run through face cleansers like crazy in my house. So I wanted to try this one for a long time. I figured I might as well pick it up with a discount. And it just says it's a rich, indulgent foaming cream that removes effectively impurities, makeup, and mascara without irritating. Formulated with a centuries-old Greek remedy for skin soothing, yogurt, and natural cleansing agents for excellent tolerance by the eyes and skin. Soap-free. So I'll give this one a try and let you guys know how I like it. I still haven't found a cleanser that I really love either. I know I'm having such issues with finding skincare that I like, but hopefully I like this one. I also picked up the Becca. Um, this is the Blush With Light palette. This was on sale for 50% off, so I literally paid $17 for this, so I, it was a no-brainer for me. I've heard so many things about Becca blushes, and I've always wanted to give them a try, but to be honest, I don't really wear blush that much, so I didn't want to go ahead and purchase a full size of one color. Maybe I wasn't going to end up liking it too much or, or using it enough to even go through it, so I figured this palette would actually be the best way to try the blushes, and that's what the packaging looks like there. And so the shades in here, as you can see, they're really, really pretty. And they're not too bright, which I like because they'll be easy to wear often. And they're in the shades Wisteria, Songbird, and Snapdragon. So I think the only one that's not in the permanent single line is Wisteria, but the other two you can buy in singles. But I'll be giving this one a try. Hopefully this encourages me to use blush a little bit more. And this is going to be really helpful for me for travel as well since the three shades come in one. It's easy and compact and I'm excited to try it. I picked up two of the brushes from the Sephora Pro line. These were also on sale in addition to the other brush that I purchased. I think I paid like nine, between nine and eleven dollars for these. And I've heard good things about their brushes, but I never feel like spending the money on them. So since they were on sale, I figured I might as well pick them up. I got the Pro Crease Brush and the Pro Domed Crease Brush. So, yeah. Just like, I really don't need any more brushes, but 
I'm a sucker when it comes to them. I feel like I do not clean my brushes that often, so I like to have a lot on deck so that I can do my makeup without having to wash them that much. I picked up this Bite Beauty amuse-bouche lipstick. This is in the limited edition shade Movember. Um, this was only on sale in the month of November, so that just goes to show you how long I've had these products for. The proceeds from this particular shade, I believe, go to support um, a fund for prostate cancer. And as you can see here, it's just a really pretty, like, mauve shade, hence the shade Movember. And it has, like, a little mustache there. And that's what a swatch of it looks like there. Kind of difficult angle, but really pretty. The next few things I picked up were from Tarte. So the first thing I got was this primer and setting spray. It's a, the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I've seen this a lot on YouTube and I decided that I wanted to give it a try. I really only use Fix Plus um, because I find that it's the only thing that really hydrates my skin. And my skin gets dried out so badly, especially when I'm wearing makeup. So I really like something that's more moisturizing to top it off with. So like I said, I usually use MAC Fix Plus and then I go on top of it with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I think that this would be a good replacement for or a good supplement to the MAC Fix Plus because it claims to hydrate your skin. So I'm going to give this one a try. And then I also picked up the Tarte Clay Pot in the shade Cobalt. I've heard these are super creamy and I want to start playing with colored liners a little bit more. So I bought this one. That's the shade there in Cobalt. Here, I'll show you the inside. So that's it right there. And I think it'll be fun just to add a nice pop of color. A nice wing or an accent or you can even use it as a base for other colored shadows so that's nice to have and then I picked up one of the Rainforest of the Sea Quench Lip Rescue Lipsticks and this is in the shade Berry it's a mint colored packaging with like starfish on it really cute and so this is just like a sheer wash of color, like very balmy. I like this for everyday use um, because I use lip balm so much, but sometimes I like to just have a little bit of a tint in it so that it looks like I just did a little something. Um, this is what that looks like there, right there at the bottom. So yeah, so not too much color because then I find that it kind of looks like crepey. I just like something like a little touch of color like that. So I really like that for everyday use. I picked up two of the Tarte Glossy Lip Paints. I picked up the shades Slay and Snap. So here's what they look like. Glossy lips are making a comeback, guys, and I am totally about it. I love matte lips for the winter, but I think for the spring and summer, I really prefer glossy lips. I just find it looks so fresh and it's so comfortable. I don't have to worry about it. So I picked up these two shades. Um, Snap is more of a like a brownie nude and what was this one again slay is more of like a mauvey purple color i'll swatch these i really like the applicator on these it's like a flat angled paddle i don't really like doe foot applicators which you find out in all my other hauls i say that in every single haul basically but i really like that one and it glides on the products really smooth so there are the two shades again that's snap and slay Slay is like a darker mauve purple color and then Snap is like a brownie nude. In the same category, I also picked up two Tardis lip paints. These are the matte ones and these I will wear like this time of year, more winter. And this is in the shade TBT and Man Bun. Here are the two um, Tardis matte lip paints there. And these have the same applicator as the glosses so that like flat as you can see that flat angled paddle there it applies the product really smooth I really like that and I feel like it'll give you a pretty clean edge um, when applying it to your lips just because of the shape of it so there are the two shades right there there's TBT it's like a pinky mauve and there's man bun it's like a burgundy shade I really like those. 
And these don't feel that drying either. They feel pretty moisturizing. I mean, they're not on my lips, so it's kind of hard for me to say, but they feel like they'll be really good. The last couple things I have here are all 100 point perks. I have the Too Faced Melted Matte, and this is in the shade Sellout. I have the Argens Ginseng Peel Off Mask. And I also have the Stila Huge Extreme Mascara. I have really only loved the MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash. Um, that's the only mascara that really does for me what I'm looking for. I like a more wet formula, natural bristle brush, and I like my lashes to look really, really black and long. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara I like, but it dries out really fast, I feel like, and I feel like the formula doesn't really show up too well after, like, a week or two of using it just because it dries up so fast and I like that wetter formula. I found that this one does the same thing that the Too Faced Better Than Sex does to my eyes except it has a wetter formula and it shows up blacker on my lashes so I really really like this one and I saw it on the 100 point perk so I figured I might as well pick it up rather than pay to have the full size. I've been liking the minis lately just because, I mean, for most of the time you can get them for as free samples and they last just as long as the bigger tubes because I feel like they, the bigger tubes dry out so quickly. So I'm glad I have another one of those. I already used up the other one that I got as a sample in some subscription box or something like that. And then <clears throat> I guess like for the VIB sale or whatever, they were giving out this like sample bag. So... I got this, I think you, it was like with a minimum purchase or whatever, and it just came with a sample of the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I've been wanting to try, a perfume sample, Lancome Bifacil, which um, Nicole from Young Wall and Polish, I believe, really loves this, and I wanted to try it, so this is a pretty big size to get in a, a free sample bag. I mean, this is going to last me a long time. So there's that the fresh soy face cleansing milk another cleanser for me to try the makeup forever artist rouge cream mini lipstick in c211 um the title brightening enzyme water cream by sunday riley and a sephora rouge shine lipstick in love spell a victor and rolf flower bomb sample so that's a really good sample bag. I mean, I think they have one every year. Last year's, I don't remember being as good as this one. So I'm really happy with what I got in that. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and check out my other social media down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The next few things I picked up. <sighs> Pee -wee, I said come here and eat with your mouth. And three, six... Three, six, nine. The next thing I got was a brush, and this was on sale on Sephora. I ended up paying. Oh, there's a lot of dust in here. Oh, it must be from the makeup that's been sitting around for months. I run through face cleansers. I picked up two. That's one. I knew I had two of these down here. Get out. And these are in the shades Slay and Douse. Okay, that was upside down. Hello.